Hi, in this video we're going to show a Globecaster Telestrator demo and we're going to talk about where to get it and how to set it up, in this case, with vMix. First off, you can get it from panamndi.com. Um, once you get here, you can read all about the different tools that we offer. Uh, of course, today we're talking about Telestrator, which is a great video uh, annotation tool. Um, starts at 95 bucks for the regular version, goes up to 295 for the Pro, which supports the API triggers and the higher resolutions. Um, download it from at the bottom of the page here. You'll see a place that uh, you can submit your name and email to get a download link. Okay, so I've already installed it, of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, um, and it's going to tell me about the uh, trial period there. Um, it uh, magically opens up with uh, the last video source that I had selected. Um, obviously, uh, the first time you open it, you will not have had a chance to select a video source yet, so I'm going to go back and disconnect all this stuff. Okay. Uh, this is probably what it's going to look like when you um, first open the app. You'll have your main control bar up here up top. You'll have your workspace and you'll have your tools, um, which is just a folder here on your C drive. Um, you can add to, take away, change, whatever you want to do. Um, there's tons of stuff in here if you go digging around. Um, okay, so that's what it's going to look like when you first open it. Let's get started by um, turning some things on. By default, the NDI output is already on. Um, so if you have vMix up and running, uh, which I do here, you can see that uh, the input is there. Um, I got that up by just choosing it as an NDI input. And uh, you can see it on screen there. Okay, so um, let's clear that out and let's select a video source. So I'm going to choose the input source uh, vMix and I'm going to go ahead and pull up my API commands as well. API commands are just uh, web commands that are supported by different tools like vMix. Um, you know, you can see here I've got uh, a bunch of them in here. I'm using the first 10 for uh, vMix replay right now. You can see all those. Um, if you are using it on a machine that is not the actual replay machine, you'll want to use the 192 address. Um, if you are using the same computer to demo this software on that you have vMix installed on, you can use the 127 stuff. Okay. Um, so I've got uh, some commands set here. Uh, last thing to do is to assign my uh, clear and snap buttons. Um, these also are capable of sending API commands if you did not want to see this panel down here. Um, so I'm going to tell it to choose to play on clear and I'm going to choose to pause on snap. Okay, so let's test that out real quick and snap. There we go. So now we're all set up. Um, basically anything you want to do from this point forward you can play around with. Um, any of these tools that you want to change you can change just by going into this right here and choosing a different size and it'll make the tool a little bit bigger and then of course you can save it out just by dragging and dropping it into a folder. This one's pretty busy so I might go ahead and actually just create a new folder in this area by right clicking new folder and call this my stuff. Okay and uh, there it is so I'll just drag that right there and maybe I want to change the uh, blue color on this arrow and the size of it as well. Um, so we'll just make this a size of 25 and we'll change the arrows to about a 28. This is going to change the size of the arrowhead um, and uh, maybe one last thing we'll change the color to I don't know uh, green. Okay, you can actually do gradients if you want to but uh, you know that might look a little strange so let's just make it green. Okay. All right, so pretty happy with that. I'll just drag and drop it into my My Stuff. And then, of course, if I wanted to add that to my defaults, I can just drag and drop it up in here as well. Okay, so that's pretty much setting everything up um, and using it with the uh, Telestrator here.
thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Um, and uh, we're here to help. So thank you very much.